Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going thrifting. We're gonna hit up our usual thrift spots. We're out here in New Jersey. Um, maybe a surprise estate sale? I'm driving. So we'll see where we end up. Let's go. It looks like they have Valentine's out, which is exciting. Maybe we can find some vintage planters. That'd be really cool. But it doesn't look like they have a ton out. These are pretty shakers. They are marked Lufton. Right there. Looks like they were Susie's. But I don't know how they would resell and they're not my cup of tea, so I'm gonna put them back. General foam. But it is from 2015. It looks like this is a general foam, and it says 2015, so obviously not vintage, but even if it didn't have that 2015 barcode on it, you could tell that it's vintage because the plastic's a lot thinner, and so is the handle. I found a lucky Pyrex find again. Doesn't look like it. There are some super worn down Pyrex that have gone to the dishwasher. That's sad, and this is actually really sad. This is a, I think it's called Butterprint, Amish Butterprint, and it's just completely destroyed. And they still have the audacity to charge $10. So, that's too bad. If anything, it should be a bit cheaper, in my opinion. I'm on the lookout for some fridges, but for cheap, because I actually want to use them. Hi. Bunch of old dolls here. Oh wow. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. That's cool. Is that a cupie? Yeah. Is that a cupie? Uh, possibly. It looks a little bit like it, I can't tell. Mm. What is yellow? They did a different like uh, percentage off. Yellow is 25% off. Orange is 50 and blue is 75. Oh my God, these all the clothes in there? That's a cutie. Yeah, these are both cutie. Yeah, definitely. $10, what is it, 25 you said? Yeah. Let's kind of talk some of the hunger. So these two cupies would be $7.50. For both? For, yes, for both. Yeah. Yeah, it might be a good price. I was thinking of picking them up if you weren't. Okay. I saw somebody on Instagram craft with them really cute like for valentine's day yeah that's what i was thinking yeah they could be really cute no i found this thing i thought she had an interesting face there's the little houses my mom has those are oh old. look at that they're old christmas yeah they're, and look at that it's an old chicken and look this is the bottom this right here is the bottom of an old like rosborough christmas candy container Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> That's really cool. How much is it for that one? This is $2.49 and it's orange. So it's 50% uh, off. Nice. That's really cool. Is he really getting All a these cart? doll toys. Yeah, I'll get a cart. I want to look at this one. Look at that. She might be worth something in here. Look how pretty these dolls are. Oh wow. Yeah. She's really cool. She's in good condition too. This one's similar. Oh yeah, I didn't see those back there. Wow. Um, I had a bunch of old dolls. I have no clue about like dolls and Me stuff. Either. 
Never learn our lesson. Every single time we're like, we don't grab a cart, and then every single time I thought you had. We need a cart. I thought you had. No, I didn't one. take one. Um, I, I definitely have to get this. Oh, these little houses my mom has had since she was a child. Um, those are old. These are so cute. Each doll is in their own little plastic bag. bag. Yeah. They probably took the pair of them. She's really interesting. I just found this little guy sitting on the shelf. It's so sad that he's broken. And there's only one of him. This is a salt and pepper set. Oh, try to find his friend. I'll look around, but even then it's still broken. It would be 50% off. Okay, old uh Like kitchen, like play, play food. I'm so close with the girl. Disney plate. Wow, this little stuff is made in Italy. Look at that Disney. It's so cute. That's cool. Wow. And that little like, it looks like the, looks like the big one. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. That's so cute. Wow. It's a big bag of them. I know. I remember playing like my cousins had these. Yeah. Um. From like probably the 70s. Oh, okay. they were playing with them, yeah. That's cool. But I found this. Oh, look at that! And it has a little night light bubble light. Oh, look at that! Sex doll. He's one shaker. Oh. Um, find his friend, so unfortunately I'm gonna put him back. It really hurts me, but it's just not not now. I saw that Dumbo. He looks so older, right? Cute. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a Japan piece. I just think he's really cute. <laughs> so I just picked this up. It's got some chips or whatever, but I'm just curious because I bet it has like someone knows something about it. Like who made it? What's the maker? Yeah. Is it cool. anything? Is it a you know fake reproduction? I don't know. It's cool. Yeah. Let me know. I'm planning picking up this bag. It would be three dollars. Um, we're mostly interested in the Santa. I'm pretty sure he's vintage, right, Janine? Yeah. But he's missing his other salt and pepper shaker. So and he's not the cutest guy. No, he's not the cutest. And it also comes with this bubble light. Nightlight. Nightlight. It'd be really cute to plug in. But... Oh, it has it has like Polly Brown attached to it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just like not worth it. For us, no. For us, yep. So we're gonna put that back. Yeah, we're making the tough decisions. It doesn't have any markings. It looks like there was one long sticker on it at some point. She looks like a Japan piece to me. Very hard to tell. Um, she has a little chip right there in her hand. Ugh, I just wish I knew more about her. I just did some searching on eBay and there are a few that look like her, but None of them have this like painted flower detailing, which makes me think it's a little bit newer than I thought. Maybe like 70s. So I don't think I'm gonna get her, but she is cute. Chadwick Japan. Oh, oh. is it a, what is it? It's so dirty, I don't know. It doesn't hold anything, does it? I don't no. think so, no. It looks like a napkin holder at first. I thought so, so too, until I picked it up. That's interesting, right? So Japan. It's sort of cute. It's I got know. a. It's repaired, right? Where? The ear. The ear where? Yeah, it is repaired. It's different. It's small, you know. Yeah. Huh. Two ninety nine and yellow. Twenty five percent off. Five percent off. So maybe. I found this uh, spaghetti poodle. Oh. But it's like missing a stripe of its 
Is that it? Oh, it's a little strange. These are cute. Barnyard cookie cutters. And they're all in there. Oh wait, are we missing the horse? Oh, oh we're missing the horse. Oh. I saw those. Oh, it's too bad that they're it's missing the horse. Really? Right? Yeah. Oh, How cute is that? that is I don't see the horse anywhere. Oh man. It's so sad. This is like, I don't like clowns, but it's sort of cute. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know, like, if you're into that, I think it's yeah. cute. <laughs> I can't believe I found a bag of girlies just now after Christmas. This is really exciting. It's got two angels in there and a really, really cute snowman. How cute. I don't think these little trees are girlies, but it's only $3 for the bag. So I'm definitely snagging this. not seeing any vintage valentines which is sort of upsetting this is cute little snoopy angel huh but yeah there's really no like real vintage valentines lots of plush but this does catch my eye what is this? 1993. How cute. Oh. Cool. Isn't that cool? I'll show this amazing desk they just brought out. This mid-century desk is absolutely gorgeous. We have absolutely no space for it, nowhere to store it. But I would die to have this. And here's the kicker. It's only $20. When it's meant to be, it will come back to me in one form or another but unfortunately today is not the day i just love the legs i love how it looks it just is killing me to leave it behind and i hope that another vintage enthusiast will take it home and polish it up but i'm sure somebody will see it refurbish it and sell it for a couple of hundred dollars. I also love this vintage Snoopy twin bedspread. How cute is that? It's actually only $13, which isn't bad. A lot of these places have like vintage, like Disney bedspreads and such for like $30. So this is pretty good. Here is the haul. We have mostly my stuff, right? Yeah, you grabbed most of the stuff that we saw mm -hmm. today um this one actually you found janine and i did but asked if i wanted to see it your name when i saw it <laughs> it's really cute though because it's like a christmas sweater that's not like too overly christmas you could sort of carry it into winter i would think 
Definitely. And it is vintage, it looks like. Mm -hmm. It was $6. Made in the USA. Right? Made in the USA. I can't remember if there was a discount on this one. But yeah, it was 75% off. <gasps> wow. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> that's a really good price. Yeah. I also found this little lamb. Well, did you find this guy? I did. Another Je thing that I found. Janine really stole the show today, but she offered if I wanted this one, and I, and I, I took it. It is a Napco lamb planter it was 2.99 with 25 percent off he's pretty cute he has a fault right there he's been repaired but i thought he could be cute for an easter display filled with some stuff i probably won't sell him he doesn't sell for too much so he'll probably stay in a display he has a really cute face though looks like my dog you know what i like about it it's small a lot of the planters yeah. the lamb ones they're bigger this is like very petite. I also found this mug, um, which at first I thought was new, but the gold rim and detailing made me wonder if it was made in Japan. And it is a Japan vintage Disney mug. It was $2 or less, I guess. The yellows were 25% off, I think. And this goes for $15 to $20 on eBay. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'll likely sell it. This was the... Uh, this was like a <laughs> surprise for me that you picked this I up. don't know why. It reminds me of the toys from the 80s. I think they were called mm. pop popples. Popples, yeah. So I thought that's... Sure. I thought that's what he was. I don't think that is what he is. No. I looked on here. He's made in China, 1993. So I just thought he was really cute for a Valentine's Day display. And then last but not least... This bag of vintage candles. So these are all the pieces that were inside the bag. I paid $3 for everything here. And I'm just really excited to see this little snowman guy. He's so cute. He's really cute. These three have the girly marking on the bottom. So mm. these are from like the 50s or the 60s. They're pretty collectible. The angels are more common. This one actually, her face is a little... Um, busted and you can see right there but i know there's a few tutorials online on how to clean up their faces if they're a little scuffy um but yeah these are a little bit more common and then the snowman i think is a bit more rare i've never really seen him and he's in pretty good condition he's really cute he's not missing much of his paint and he has his bottom card so cute so he's really cute um and then these trees were also in the pack. I do think that these two are vintage. They don't have any marking on the bottom, but that chunky glitter is usually a pretty good indicator as to whether or not a piece is older. Um, you see a lot of this like bigger chunky glitter on older Christmas pieces. And then these, they also aren't marked. They're burnt, so I'm not too sure about them, but we're definitely really excited about the little lineup we have here from that bag. This was a great find, especially after Christmas. I was really, really shocked. <laughs> Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Now onto what I found. I found this 1994, yeah, 1994 Nerf Supermax 5000 gun. It's really cool, still works, I tested it. Came with two darts, this big one this little one it also has like these interchangeable I don't know what you call these on a gun um also comes with this interchangeable <laughs> sorry piece. I can't help you out I have no idea I I never had a nerf gun I don't know what that, that is shoot so these these little interchangeable um it's also hard to do this when I'm not seeing it they shoot off the different size uh, Nerf what's it? darts, Nerf darts. So it works and it's really awesome. They sell on eBay. I forget for how much. But you said that was like 40 or $50. I think, yeah, some have sold for this much. Wow. So we'll see if I sell it. If I don't, I mean, it's fun, you know. <laughs> you gonna keep that. <laughs> Next up is this owl. It's really got a lot of built up dust or dirt it's like he was sitting in a garage for yeah 20 years or yeah, something basement garage something but i i looked past it i thought it looked like a japan piece i thought it could be really cool and probably what i'm going to do with it 
is use it for Halloween in a little Halloween display. I really like how the eyes look like moons and it's, it's just got a really good paint job. It looks beautiful. I bet underneath all of this dirt, it's going to clean up and look really cool. I don't remember if it was marked. Oh yeah, it was it? Chadwick, Japan. So I'm really happy with that find. So we found some vintage dolls at the thrift today. So each little doll that um, they had at the thrift store were in these little bags within this bag. So I think the original owner probably put them all in these little zipper bags, which shows how much they cared about them. Um, I thought these were cute. Little like cupie dolls. I don't really know much about them. It says made in Taiwan, this one. Mm. This so. one, I don't know. So I thought they'd be Someone really... have a little dent in the head? Yeah, it's got a little dent in the head, but I'm sure if uh, you- Soften it up. Get it a little warm, it'll probably pop out. Yeah. Um, They're very soft. So I think they were taken care of over the years. And I thought they'd be really cute, like for Valentine's Day, like dressing them up maybe mm -hmm. for, you know. I don't know, I thought they'd be really cute. Um, On the theme of dolls, I got these two. I don't know anything about dolls really. But this one in particular caught our eye. She has, she's just a very pretty doll. She has a nice face. She has one shoe. <laughs> um, and we looked her up, right? Yep. She's um, a Tammy doll. And she sells for what, like $30? Yeah, when we were looking it up, it really depends on the condition of her. This mm -hmm. is her original outfit. So that definitely makes her more desirable. Um, a lot of sellers had her hair like really nicely done. So she would need a little bit of work. The ones who were in better condition went upwards for like $80. But I think one in this condition, 20 to 30. Yeah, she's a nice doll. Yeah. And I think someone will really enjoy her. This doll I have no idea about. I don't know anything <laughs> about this doll. <laughs> um, but she was with that doll. Oh, she does have a marking. Skipper. Oh. oh, really? Yeah. Huh. She's an old Skipper from Mattel. Barbie. She's <laughs> older though, yeah? Yeah, I'll have to do research on her. Yeah. Um, if anyone likes Barbies or collects Barbies, if you know anything about her, please let us know in the comments because... Oh, she's marked Japan um, on her foot. Oh. Huh. I'll, I'll I'll be trying to do some research on her, but like I said, if anyone knows anything about her, I'd love to to find out. Maybe you had her. I saw this little Dumbo. I thought he was so cute. <laughs> he is um, cute. Reminds me of my dog. Maybe I'll insert a picture here of her of her with her big ears. Reminds me of Dumbo. And he just looked the paint on him, the way he was made. I thought maybe Japan. Mm -hmm. Wasn't sure. Um, and I paid five ninety nine, which really surprised me. Cause, that you paid that much? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, let me take Does this Does he have off, a marking? And he actually has a marking. <gasps> Disney Japan. There you go. So this bag was so cheap for what is inside. These little houses were from the 40s, I'm pretty sure. They're little plastic ornaments. Yeah, so they are actually ornaments, right? They're yeah, not... they're Christmas, Christmas ornaments. Yeah. And last year I bought her a whole set because there's a whole set of them, the little houses. If I can add a picture, I'll try to add a picture of all of them. And I think I paid like $30 for all of them. And today I got this whole bag for $249. I, I was so surprised because these are also. Oh, I didn't even notice those. These the are bells? All, yeah, these are bells. You see, this is melted, probably from a, a light bulb. <laughs> they're little bells, and they're also from the same time period. This and... is why we go down every single aisle at the thrift store. Yeah. Because you never know where people are going to place things. Like, these do look like children's toys, yeah, if you don't like know what they are. Toys. Do these have any markings, or are they just like, you wouldn't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, like Yeah, there's no markings on them. I'm obsessed with this little gingerbread cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. It says transogram company but look at that little face oh my god it's so cute 
from the same uh, company. A little chicken. Was a chicken <gasps> in here. And you know we love chickens too. Well, you love chickens. <laughs> <laughs> You're forced to love chickens. And then this, which... I noticed right away. You noticed right away. And it, and it... Insert a picture right here of what this originally was attached to. So this is the, I guess like a backing card or a platform in which a plastic candy container would stand on. And the last thing that I found at the thrift, I thought nothing of it. It was $1.99. I think it says love you. I'm not even quite sure. But um, I picked it up and then I flipped it over. And look, it's Tiffany. And, you know, Valentine's is coming up. So let me take this off gently. See what it says. And see how it is. The paint might be gone. I, I have no idea. They put tape over it. Love me. Right? Yep. Love me. This was a very surprising and crazy trip mm -hmm. today. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. We are now very close to 600 subscribers, <laughs> which is like mind blowing. I, I we really appreciate everyone like watching and following. So thank you. And we love the comments and the interaction that we're getting. And a lot of you are very knowledgeable and are leaving like fantastic information. I want to let you know, also, we're going to come out with two videos each week. We're, we're aiming for Tuesday and Friday as our upload schedule. So hit the notification bell and you'll find out when we get the videos up. Thanks again for joining us, guys. I hope you enjoyed what we picked out. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.